Hello and Namaste. My name is Amrit Hakal and I am a student from the Graduate School of Medicine. My major is Internal Medicine and my department is Stress Sciences and Psychosomatic Medicine. I have my special interest in stress related diseases, cognitive behavioral therapy and ecological momentary assessment. My today's 3MD presentation theme is winning the race against depression and anxiety among the elderly population. Before I start my presentation today, I have one small request with all of you here. Could you all please close your eyes for a few seconds? Did every one of you close your eyes? Okay, perfect. Now imagine traveling into your elderly life and playing with your grandkids or with your friends at your house or in the park nearby your house in a very happy and jolly mood. Now please open your eyes. How did it feel to you? All of you must have felt wonderful. Yes, unfortunately, this wonderful feeling cannot be felt by everyone in the world today. Every 40 seconds, one person dies due to suicide and every year around 20,000 Japanese people are losing their lives due to suicide. Depression and also anxiety have been considered to be the major causes for this. These two illnesses are already predicted to be the leading chronic illnesses in the coming decade and beyond. The elderly people are of course no exception to this. I started thinking about this for a very personal reason of mine which is indeed sad. My own grandmother who passed away last year at the age of 97 suffered from these symptoms. She increasingly spent her days at the corner of the house barely interacting with other family members including myself with fear and anxiety most of the time. The local doctor prescribed medications. But can we think of an alternative medicine which is actually free and is also free from side effects? What if I say this medication can also protect us from various chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes mellitus type 2 and can also improve the mood at the same time? You must have already guessed it. Yes, as shown up in my slide, I am talking about physical activity. The main goal of my research is to find out what duration, how intense, how many times a week and what type of physical activity is required among different age groups in the healthy elderly people to protect from depression and anxiety. I plan to develop the ecological monitor assessment of physical activity which is monitoring and collecting the data at the current moment. I will ask my participants to wear watch like modern device and compare the obtained findings with the standard depression and anxiety questionnaires and physiological data like heart rate accounting for various psychosocial factors. For now, I can't say how physical activity can change the structure of our brain in this few minutes, but I can definitely say the elderly people can get many benefits if they can stand up from that chair in their house and start to move their body from now. With this, firstly, my research has the potential to develop the guidelines required for daily physical activity among the elderly. Secondly, it would also help to reduce the incidence of depression and anxiety among the elderly people with no cost no pills and maybe no doctor. Yes, it can be possible to live the golden elderly life with the same young energy. Thank you very much.